To balance this equation, we have iron three chloride plus sodium hydroxide. So let's add the atoms up on each side and we'll use a little bit of a trick to make this easier since this is a double displacement reaction. So we have one iron atom, three chlorines, one sodium, and then this OH is called the hydroxide group. It's a polyatomic ion. I have it here, it stays together. I have it right here again. So I'm just gonna count this as one thing. That makes the balancing for double displacement reactions a lot easier. So I have one hydroxide, one iron, chlorine, one there, sodium, one there, and then I have the one hydroxide times the three. So I have three hydroxides. I can see right away I need to balance my chlorines, put a coefficient of three in front of the NaCl. So I have one chlorine times three. That gives me three of those. The chlorines, they're balanced. And one sodium times three. That gives me three sodiums. Let's balance the sodiums that might fix the hydroxides here. I have three here and one here. So I'll put a coefficient of three in front of the NaOH. I have one sodium times three. So now the sodiums, those are balanced. And then I have one hydroxide times the three. It gives me three of those and I'm done. This equation is balanced. So you can see it helps to consider these polyatomic ions as just one item if they appear on both sides. It makes the balancing a lot quicker and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeCl3 plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.